Have you ever thought about how long you want to live? A hundred years? A hundred and fifty? What if I told you that the secret to a much, much longer life might already be hidden inside our own bodies just waiting to be unlocked? This isn't science fiction. This is the world of CRISPR, a groundbreaking gene editing technology that's been making headlines for years. Now imagine using that same technology not just to cure diseases, but to fundamentally slow down or even reverse the aging process itself. So how does this work? Think of your DNA as a massive instruction manual for your body. As we get older, this manual starts to get a little messy. Typos or genetic mutations start to pop up. Pages get worn out. This cellular wear and tear is what we call aging. It's why our skin wrinkles, our bones get weaker, and we become more susceptible to age-related diseases like heart disease, Alzheimer's, and cancer. Enter CRISPR. You can think of it as a microscopic pair of scissors, a find and replace tool for our DNA. Scientists can program CRISPR to find a specific problematic gene, say one linked to rapid aging, and snip it out. Then they can replace it with a healthier, more robust version. And this isn't just a theory. Scientists have already done it. In one incredible study, researchers used a single CRISPR treatment on middle-aged mice. The results were staggering. These mice lived significantly longer, showed improved heart function, had better physical fitness, and their bodies were biologically younger than untreated mice of the same age. They essentially got a biological software update that wound back their aging clock. Now imagine applying this to humans. What if we could edit the genes that control our cellular repair mechanisms, making them as efficient as they were when we were 20? What if we could target and delete the genes that predispose us to Alzheimer's or heart failure before they ever become a problem? We could be looking at a future where turning 90 feels like turning 60, where we don't just live longer but we live healthier, more vibrant lives for much longer. Of course, we're not quite there yet. The science is complex and the ethical questions are huge. Is it right to edit our own DNA? Who gets access to this technology? Would it create a world of a genetic super-rich who can afford to live forever? These are massive conversations we need to have as a society. But the potential is undeniable. We are standing on the brink of a revolution that could redefine what it means to be human, to grow old. CRISPR isn't just a tool for fixing what's broken. It could be the key to unlocking a future where a long, healthy life isn't just a lucky break, but a choice we can make. The question is no longer if we can do it but when and how.